Well, after we after we adopted Molly, what we found was we, we weren't going out as much on our bikes. Uh, we, you know, before Molly, we used to go to coffee shops and restaurants and go to eat and shop all the time on our bikes. But with Molly, we weren't doing that. So we got the trailer so Molly could come along with us. Well, we bike to the dog park for many different reasons. Uh, number one, it gives us a chance to get some extra exercise instead of taking the car. Uh, we feel better about our impact on the environment that way as well. Uh, it's a heck of a lot more fun. We always seem to have adventures when we do so. And then it gives us a ton of options after if we want to stop for brunch, uh, hit another park, whatever the case may be. Uh, it, it's just much better. We, we choose bike. We choose our feet, we choose public transportation. Car is always last. And having the trailer and being able to take Molly to the dog park in the trailer means the car stays home and we just have a lot of fun doing it. The dog park, uh, for us, from our home to the dog park, the route takes, it's, well, it takes between about, uh, you know, 23 minutes to 30 minutes to get there. And it's about six and a half kilometers. Pulling the trailer with Molly in it can be challenging, uh, especially going uphill. But honestly, once you get it rolling, especially on the flat, it's actually not much different than uh, pulling yourself. <laughs> I, I think that Molly, I, I think she really enjoys it. Uh, the thing about Molly is she, she's stubborn. So if she did not want to get in the trailer, she would not get in the trailer and you would not make her. And I think it was, I think it was day two of us having the trailer. She actually stepped her paws in by herself and we're like, yay, she's going to do it. And and she loves it. She doesn't try to get out of the trailer. And I, I, having the kind of open air cab in the back, she gets to sniff everything and look at everything as she travels. And I, I think she really enjoys it. So far, we've used the trailer to take Molly to the park. I believe that we've done it every month of the year. That has been challenging in certain weather conditions, but we have successfully done it every month. We pretty much pull her in any weather. I mean, we, we're not going to go out. There is, there is a temperature limit, um, you know, and we prefer to go out when it's not raining. But a few times we did get caught in rain and snow, and it wasn't too bad. We ended up riding, I think, every month of the year uh, to the dog park pulling Molly. Uh, there have definitely been some stories from some of our travels and I think the one that I remember most was we, do uh, we came to the dog park in the morning and the weather was pretty good and then it snowed so we had to ride home in the snow it was freezing you could barely push through the snow uh, it was quite a challenge but we made it it's really interesting with the trailer because we, we people we pass on the pathways all the time you know we get a lot of smiles a lot of laughter uh, a lot of people have stopped us and asked us, you know, how did we, where did we get the trailer? And, and they, they just think it's just wonderful. And it, it really makes you happy too, seeing all these smiles and, oh my gosh, she's so cute and things like that. So um, it's, it's really enjoyable seeing that. I think, I think I'd tell people, you know, um, do your research, do your homework, ask other people who may be doing the same thing and then just, just go for it. You know, there's no hard and fast rules. Just go for it and have some fun. Part of the reason we wanted to share this video is because we want to show that it is possible to do lots of things by bike. And uh, Molly's just one example of the, you know, the fantastic things you can do with your bike. And we're home, Molly. Go, go thank the driver. <laughs> <laughs>